Good evening. Welcome to Untamed Beer. It's Monday night. I just so happen to have a flight of beer that was sent to me by Monday Night Brewing out of Atlanta, Georgia. They're a pretty new brewery. They are less than a year old in their facility, but they've been brewing beer for, I think they said about five years or so. Mm -hmm. I was actually in Atlanta maybe a year and a half ago and I got to try the, uh, the, the Drafty Kilt. It was quite good. I had it at a Taco Mac. I remember uh, I was in a conference, a day conference. I went for lunch at the Taco Mac and uh, cool. had the Drafty Kilt. I thought it was really good. So, yeah, so they have sent, uh, sent me three beers. We have the Fu Man Brew, Belgian style wit. We have the Eye Patch Ale, and we have the Drafty Kilt. There is no piece of paper here telling me what they are. So let's start with the Fu Man Brew. Here, buddy? Fu Man Brew. It's pretty cool. Oh, oh shoot. Catch on, pants free. Fu Man Brew. <laughs> Nifty little trick. Nicole saves her bottle caps. So uh, if you take a, take a quarter, and then you take your uh, bottle opener, you put the quarter on top of the bottle, and you open it very gently. This is bonus footage. Yep. So we can save the cap. Oh, That's it. That's okay. We got, you got two more tries. We got this. two more tries. But only one take, because I only have three. Three beers. Screw it. I'll try it on this. It's much better. It's all good. It is. How are you doing this evening, Nicole? I'm oh, by the way, man, I... Man, it's I... been quite a Monday. It's been a great Monday. No, it is. Red, I'm just... You know, it is time to loosen ready. the tie. It's, it's time to loosen yeah. the tie. It's Maybe Monday, loosen it's the vest a little bit. I'm after work. I've been long suck, day. sucking in for ten hours. You yeah. Take the, uh, the, you wear them on the girls or whatever they're called? Spanx? I don't do Spanx. No. Uh, only, <laughs> only on the weekends. Yeah, that was rude. I didn't introduce you at the beginning. Maybe it's because I look like a hobo. Oh, you look great. Well, here, cheers. All Here's right. to Monday Night Brewing. And to Monday nights. Mm. And it is Monday night, actually, for those of you watching at home. Ginger. Oh, yeah. Lots of ginger. Lots of ginger. And a little bit of tropical, little cit light citrusy flavors. That's good. It's very effervescent. Easy the, drinking. Uh, it's very highly carbonated. Mm -hmm. Very easy drinking. Mm -hmm. And actually, with the ginger and the citrus and the high carbonation, it reminds me I of Seven it. Up. This is really yummy. Is it more Seven Up or Sprite? I get Seven Up. Seven Up. Mm. Yeah, ale brewed with ginger. Ale brewed with ginger. Awesome. We nailed it. Boy, I tell you what. That's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> They don't it's call right. me a beer blogger for nothing because nope. I don't know how to drink a beer. Well, that's excellent. Very good. Very refreshing. Nice Belgian beer. It's how got a nice. Oh, I'm sorry. It's got a nice, uh, pretty dry, crisp finish mm -hmm. too. And I think it'd be fantastic for the summertime. Maybe even make a beer mosa out of it. Yeah, beer mosa. Orange juice and beer. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. This is, I'm sure, great A entertainment for the folks at home. Watching you try to open So what, the this cap. is the Eye Patch Ale. Eye Patch India Pale Ale. Brewed with a hint of rye. About six and a quarter percent on the ABVs. That's cool. Oh, definitely smells different. It's got a nice hop aroma to it. The eye patch is appropriate since we we happen to move to a city where being a pirate is is respected and expected and celebrated and celebrated at that. Come on down to Gasparilla, end of Jan January. Mm -hmm. Dress up like a pirate and run around all that. It's pirate Mardi Gras. Oh, that's nice. I like this. Yeah. It's got a nice kind of citrusy hop aroma. Mm -hmm. Is it Simcoe? Did they say no, it Columbus, Cascade, and Magnum. What do I have? Very good. But it also finishes mm -hmm. really clean, dry. It's only got, it says 46 IBUs. It's not overpoweringly bitter. Mm -hmm. It's got a good malt balance. It's a really nice IPA. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'd drink that. Yeah. I drink that on any other day of the week, too. Even on Tuesday? Not just Mondays. Right. You have a case of them. <laughs> no, it was a great Monday. 
All right, note to the Monday Night Brewing people, man. You gotta work on your bottle caps. Glug, glug. Holy glug. Ah. Drafty kilt. Drafty kilt. A roasty toasty scotch ale. Ooh, yeah. Not too sticky sweet. That's nice. It's got like a, a smoked chocolatey kind of aroma to it. Oh, cherry wood smoked malt, chocolate malt, roasted barley. Ooh, really smoky. It's got a lot more smoky flavor than in the aroma. Oh, I like this in the back. Full body, Sweet. but not overpowering. Smoky, but not in a creepy bar kind of way. Sweet, but not obnoxiously so. Sound like your ideal mother-in-law? Does it? No. <laughs> I like my mother's in law to be smoky. Oh, this is really nice. It may have a little bit more smoke than I would like in a Scotch ale, but you know, I think mm -hmm. it's acceptable for style. Yeah. Ideally, I would want to have this with food. Mm -hmm. Maybe some beef. Some stew. Some Wellington. Ah, indeed. Well, and that's some, uh, some tenderloin. Tenderloin. Yep. And uh, so that's Monday Night Brewing in a nutshell. If you're in Atlanta, go check them out. Go see them. They're celebrating their one year anniversary this fall. So I thank them for providing me with these delicious beers. It was good to get a flavor for their brewery and all that they offer. I wish them the best. And, uh, and now I'm going to go kick my uh, tie off and uh, tie one off. Bye. Bye. This is good. It is good. I like all three. Yeah.